I know shit's bad right now, with all that starving bullshit, and the dust storms, and we running out of french fries and burrito coverings. Yeah. But I got a solution. That's what you said last time, dipshit! I got a solution? You're a dick! South Carolina, what's up? <laughs> That's what I thought! Now, I understand everyone's shit's emotional right now, but listen up. I got a three-point plan to fix everything. Break it down, come on, Tony. Number one, we got this guy not sure. Number two, he's got a higher IQ than any man alive. And number three, he's gonna fix everything. I give you my word as president. He'll fix the problems with all the dead crap. He's gonna make them grow again. And that ain't all. I give you my word. He's gonna fix the dust storm too. And I give you my word. He's gonna fix the comedy. President Camacho stood before the world and promised everyone that Joe would solve all their problems. He would not only end the Dust Bowl and heal the economy, but he would cure acne and car sickness as well. And if he didn't, President Camacho made another promise. He would kick Joe's smart balls all the way up to the roof of his smart mouth, and then he would throw his brainy ass back in jail. At the dawn of the 21st century, the Army began a top-secret experiment. Meet Joe Bowers, our first subject for the human hibernation experiment. As you know, this is highly classified. However, if successful, we believe humans can be stored indefinitely. However, the trial run was prone to human error. See you in a year. And Joe slept slightly longer than expected. Half a millennium to be exact. From Mike Judge, creator of Office Space and Beavis and Butthead. Oh my God! If you were the smartest person in the world... This one's in your mouth. This one goes in your butt. Hang on a second. This one, this one goes in your mouth. And we're stuck with the dumbest people in history. If you have one bucket that holds two gallons and another bucket that holds five gallons, how many buckets do you have? Two? What would you do? Excuse me, um, I'm actually supposed to be getting out of prison. You're in the wrong line. I'm the smartest guy in the world? Says who? The IQ test you took in prison. You got the highest score in history. Even smarter than President Camacho. Ladies and gentlemen, the president of America! In the year 2505. We got this guy. He's gonna fix everything. So you smart, huh? The ordinary will be considered extraordinary. I thought your hair would be bigger. Idiocracy. For the smartest guy in the world, you're pretty dumb sometimes.